Hello, and welcome back to Wavy8 Academy. In this section, we're going to dive into the world of the get function. The get function is used to retrieve objects from the object store in Wavy8. Retrieving objects from Wavy8 is probably the most common operation to perform for many users. For instance, you might want to find relevant passages from a collection of books, retrieve information on a particular type of users, or even images most similar to another image. In Wav8, you use the get function to do all of those things. To use it, you need to specify the class of objects you want to retrieve. This is the term in Wav8 for collections of objects. And you also need to specify the properties to retrieve for each object. Let's get an example of a basic standalone get query. In this case, we're querying this class for the shown properties with a limit of the number of results as shown here. The response from Wav8 then will be in JSON format, reflecting the structure of the get query and the properties of the objects being retrieved. The class and properties fields being retrieved must correspond to objects and properties that are stored in Wav8 in what is called the schema. You'll learn more about how to construct the schema in another unit. But knowing how to use a defined schema will help you immensely when it comes time to build your own schema and to populate Wav8 with it. You can also use the get function to retrieve additional properties that aren't explicitly defined in the schema. These could be inherent to the object like the ID or the vector, or related to the query performed like the distance. Below we've built examples for you to try out for yourself. Follow the inline exercises to practice constructing different get queries, retrieving various properties, and working with additional fields. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.